Hey guys, this is Ricardo back on the Watch With Us channel. And this week we are reviewing the Captain Cook Automatic in Blue from Rado. Now, if you remember a few months back, we reviewed the bronze Captain Cook with the green dial and green bezel. Now we're going to review this blue model from the brand. And one of the key reasons I wanted to actually review this watch is because this version is actually in stainless steel and it comes with Rado's stainless steel bracelet. Now, this watch was released in 2019 and it was kind of a response to that 37 millimeter, 45 millimeter gap between the previous Captain Cooks. And this came in right at 42 millimeters and it made a lot of people happy. So with that being said, let's dive into the specs on this watch and let's see what makes this Blue Rado so special. Now, the Captain Cook in blue, the automatic, comes in at 42 millimeters, as I mentioned earlier, when measured from left to right. You have a lug to lug when measured from the bottom to the top here of 48.3 millimeters. Thickness comes in at 12.1 millimeters. You have a case that is mostly polished with a 21 millimeter lug width. The bracelet then tapers down from 21 millimeters at the lugs to 19 millimeters here at the clasp, which has Rado on it with a mirror polish. When opened up, you have this larger portion of the clasp and this portion right here. Going from there, you then get to that familiar case back, which has the three seahorses and the three stars. You have Rado, stainless steel, Water resistance to 300 meters. Going back to the front of the watch, the watch comes with this blue ceramic bezel and this deep blue dial that you see here. Of course, up at 12, we have that spinning rotor. That isn't willing to cooperate right now but you do have a spinning rotor there at 12 with the logo rado the indices here are printed they are not applied you have your date window there at three and that strong hour arrow hand and that arrow tipped second hand. Watch comes with this beautiful domed sapphire crystal and this beautiful click bezel. When you unscrew the crown, first position gives you hand winding. Inside we have a C07.611 movement, which gives us 80 hours of power reserve. The movement beats at a slower rate of 21,600 beats per hour, thus aiding in you getting that 80 hours of power reserve. First position, of course, I said was hand winding. Next position is actually, first let me make sure, I'm gonna move 
get this to the final position, move that hour hand away. And that second position is, of course, your date. You see it changed there from 26 to 27. And final position is hacking so that you're able to change the time. Pop that in there, spin it in, and you now get that 300 meters of water resistance. Now, going back to the bracelet, it actually comes with an easy release system here, right here at the end lugs. You squeeze both sides together and you're able to remove this, the bracelet off easy. Also want to add, when purchased, the watch actually comes with a leather roll as well as a leather strap and a blue NATO. Now that covers it for the specs. And now let's jump into my thoughts and pricing on this Captain Cook automatic. Now I've had the Captain Cook automatic here in blue for a little while now. Um, I've enjoyed the watch as much as I enjoyed the green bronze version. Um, as I said, I really wanted to get the watch in and try it on, on a bracelet. Um, I'm going to pop it here on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So you guys see how this wears in that 42 millimeter sizing. As you can see there, it wears really well actually. Has a nice curve down on the lugs. And that beautiful dome sapphire crystal. And the touches of red that you get both in the date window as well as at the spinning rotor at 12. Now in terms of positives and negatives when it comes to this watch, right off the bat, definitely want to say my positives are the loom on this watch. I'm going to drop a loom shot in so you guys can see just how that loom looks. It's nice and strong. And a second positive for me is of course that 80 hours of power reserve. Um, if you're one of those, my diver is my daily beater kind of guys, it's nice to know that this thing will keep ticking for more than three days um, on a full charge. So that's a nice benefit to have. Now, and then one more thing, of course, is this beautiful blue dial. Uh, this dial, depending on when you're looking at it and what angle, um, it's blue, yes, but sometimes you catch some purple in there. Um, depending on how the light hits it, it it's this really nice effect. The blue that you get in the dial is definitely different than the blue in the bezel. Um, the blue in the bezel reminds me more of a closer to a royal blue, um, uh, blue almost like a navy blue. Um, not so much royal, more like a navy blue, while the dial is like this deep, rich um, blue, this deep, deep, almost midnight blue. Now in terms of negatives, first place I have to say is the lack of a loom pip on the bezel kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, you know, it's a diver. I want to use this bezel to time things. And the idea that there's no loom to marker or identifying marker for where this is. It's, it's, there's no loom on the bezel. I don't need the whole bezel to be loomed, but I would have liked if that identifying marking marker there um, at the top, that triangle was at least loomed. Second thing that I kind of didn't like, and it was the, from the first moment I got the watch, is how these end lugs are. So this end lug actually juts out here at the end of the watch. And it effectively adds to what's supposed to be a 48.3 millimeter lug to lug. 
it effectively makes it a 57 millimeter lug to lug. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of curving down there, so it really still hugs the wrist, but it's still there. So for my seven and a half inch wrist, it's not a bad thing. But if you're talking 42 and maybe you have a six and a half inch wrist, maybe a six and three quarters, um, it might just come down the sides like this because that just juts out. Um, I, I would, when you've experienced that, and I, when I first saw that, part of me was just like, you know what? I kind of wish this one came on the Jubilee. Uh, you know, give me Jubilee or give me less, pretty much. Um, the, the Jubilee on this, I think, would be nice. There is another blue version which has the Jubilee, but that's a 200 meter water resistance version. Um, but this comes on this bracelet. However, you can use the Jubilee on this watch. So let's say if you got this specific watch, you can switch out this metal bracelet for the Jubilee that they provide. Now, those are my positives and negatives. Wanna hit you guys off, at, of course, with the pricing on this watch. It comes in at $2,000. $400. Um, I think it's a great addition to the Rado Captain Cook line. I think it really just rounded out the line when it was released. Uh, if you're looking for a nice blue diver, this might just be it for you. Um, but, you know, those caveats, of course, as I said, you know, the bracelet, the way it just juts out like that, and the lack of a loom pip on the bezel. But, that completes it for my review on the Rado Captain Cook. I hope everyone enjoyed today's review. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below in the comment section. And I can't wait to see you guys next time for the next review on the channel. Follow us on, of course, on the Watch With Us channel Instagram page. Um, daily posts, we're dropping news, dropping pics. Uh, and, you know, tag us. You know, tag us, Watch With Us channel. Uh, we'd love to see your pics, of course, on our page, and we'd love to share them. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.